Hey everyone, today we are jumping into the world of dropshipping with Zdrop. Zdrop is a tool that is going to make your Shopify listing a breeze. So whether you're a dropshipper, an affiliate promoter, or a reseller, you are in the right place. Zdrop is a dynamic platform that has been designed to facilitate your listing process through Shopify. It has automated processes, a streamlined interface, and a plethora of features that is going to optimize your listings. Setting it up is a breeze. All you have to do is visit zdrop.com, download the Chrome extension, and sign up for an account. It's that easy. So let's take a look at how to connect Zdrop with your Shopify store and get you started. So now that we have Zdrop connected with our Shopify store, we are ready to go out on the World Wide Web and get those listings and fill up our Shopify store. So I'm choosing to go to AliExpress. I'm scrolling down to find a product that I want to add to my store. The first one that we're going to choose is this docking station. So right now, Zdrop is reading this web page for me and it's collecting all of the images. It's automatically scrolling. I'm not even using my mouse right now. And it is getting all of the details about this product. Now it's put this over here for me. If I click on this little pencil, it's going to let me have the option to delete by pressing the little X under the photo. And I can also rearrange things around however I want so that once it gets to Shopify, I don't have to worry about it. I can list it and forget it and just make money off of that product. So here I am now changing the product title, which is also a great feature that I like that Zdrop has added here. Um, because again, once it gets over to Shopify, I don't have to worry about it. It is exactly how my brand chooses to have their brand voice on their products. So next, I'm going to copy the item description that has been automated for me. And I like to use Perplexity AI to be able to write and optimize an SEO uh, product description for me. So I'm just going to type my little prompt in here, write an SEO optimized Shopify product listing description for the 7-in-1 docking station. And I'm just going to copy all of this information over from the actual listing. And then you're going to see how perplexity gets to work. And it's going to give me an optimized product description that I can literally copy and paste over into my editing field. And once it gets over to Shopify, it is truly amazing. Oh, 
All right, so now we are ready to head over here. I'm just going to copy my description. And then if you go down a little bit, you will see this HTML description. This is only for certain websites um, that have that capability. So right now I'm just gonna highlight it all and remove the formatting. And then here we can see things are bolded where they need to be bolded and you know it looks really clean it looks really good so these item specifics were automatically imported from the product listing by zdrop and everything is here that my customers can need if i need to add something else that's not here all i have to do is type in this extra field that says and i put additional specifications none if you need more click add item specifics it'll add a new column for you so now I've clicked on upload to Shopify and is again, reading the page, getting all the information to transfer it over to Shopify. And then it's reading what I have told it to input into Shopify. And in just a few minutes, we're going to see a notification that it is done uploading. And then we can go back to Shopify and check on our listing. So just going to refresh the page here. And now we see our docking station right here at the very top. So let's click on it. All right, perfect. It's got the title that I gave it. It has all the formatting. It has the description that I wrote in Perplexity AI. It has all the photos and the order that I put them in. All that's left for me to do is just put any product specifications that I have for my store in the applicable fields. Even the pricing has been done for me because you can set up templates to tell it how much to mark up the product. So here it says the product was $2.41. Now you can see here that it is, is not the same. Well, here in the templates, I have chosen 100% markup. So it is automatically applied that 100% markup and entered that price for me. Now, I don't want to sell it for $4, so I'm going to go ahead and put my own price in there, and then I'm going to hit save. All right, so now we're going to preview what this looks like on my site. You can see it's even added the variations for you automatically. You didn't have to do that. You can choose the black or you can choose the white, and now everything is formatted exactly how we put it in Shopify. All right, now say you want to go to another website. Maybe you want to go to Target and get some listings off of Target. Maybe they're having a good clearance or something like that. And you see the opportunity to sell that on your store. So let's go to Target and let's find a listing that we want to add to our store. We'll go to the pool floats. All right, and I'm just going to add this sun lounger here. So once I click on it again, you'll see those green little tabs at the top and you can just click upload to Shopify. And in just a few moments here, we're going to see where it notifies us that it is done uploading. So we can go back to our products. We can refresh the page and there is our sun lounger. It is copied over everything from target.com. So we don't have to do anything. And you know, one of the great things too is that the listing's already active. So we really don't even have to come in here and do anything if we didn't want to. Um, but you know, here is the price again, $31.99. And it has already marked that up for me based on my template that I told it I wanted to make a hundred percent markup. So we're gonna save that and then I'll show you what it looks like in the store. So once again, here is our product listing that literally just took us a few seconds to make. If you come over here and you decide that you would like to cross list from your Shopify store over to another platform, all you have to do is come over here and I'm selecting Facebook. So I'm in Facebook now and it's going to ask me if I want to paste, I'm going to paste, and then it's gonna upload everything for me in just a few seconds. 
we're going to see that it has all the pictures there. It's copied our item description there. It's going to fill in all the category fields for the customer, telling them what it's categorized as. It's a new product. There's the product description. And it automatically is posting this for me. You could select other Facebook groups if you wanted to go ahead and upload that to. I am just going to put it on the marketplace though. And we're just waiting for it to get done. And then we are going to go over to our listings and I'm gonna show you where it's at. So let's just go over to where we can see what we are actually selling. And then there's our sun lounger. It's already there. So it's ready to be sold on Facebook Marketplace. Again, it took us probably less than 30 seconds. So there you have it. That is how you can use ZDrop to list on Shopify in just a few simple clicks. Now remember, the key to any successful dropshipping business is going to be automation and efficiency. ZDrop has taken all of those components and to one user-friendly package. So don't wait. Go ahead, get the Chrome extension, connect your Shopify store, and take your Shopify listings to the next level. Before you go, make sure you like, share, and subscribe for more useful tips.